Welcome back to my channel. There are so many bees. Oh my god. Chaos. Hey guys, happy Monday. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hello. My name is Christina and I'm currently a language assistant in Spain and I'm working at an elementary school teaching English and I kind of just take you guys along my journey. So today I'm gonna do a day in the life. It's currently like 9.40. I'm gonna leave in about 20 minutes to get to work because Mondays is like my super chill day and I don't need to be there until 11.15, but I wanna get there a little bit early today because I do need to print some things to prep for a lesson that I'm giving today. I also want to give you guys some updates about the schools here and um, about my own updates about am I staying in Spain, am I leaving Spain, I um, have been going through the job application process back in the US so I wanted to give you guys updates about that but yeah I'm not really sure what the afternoon holds for me I really want to be outside because the weather is super nice today so I'll probably end up at a park or something at the end of the day but yeah let's go ahead I'm gonna make some breakfast um, make my lunch and get going to school because it does take me like 40 minutes to get to the school so it's definitely a little bit of a commute but it's nothing too horrible so let's go ahead and get going Seems like I am in the frame. There are so many bees, oh my God. Whoa, there's something in my eye. I thought I would give you guys an update on how the day has gone so far. So first of all, I had a kindergarten class to start off the day for an hour and we were just doing like a little activity where they color a flower, they paint a flower and it's for Mother's Day, but like the first step is just that they need to paint it and they're gonna like fold it together to make a little flower and write things on the inside of the flower, which will be cute. And then as like some students were finishing up, I had some students sitting on the, what is that called? Alfombra. Carpet in front of me. And I kind of played a video of different spring vocabulary. And so I was practicing that with some of them, which was good. Um, but this class particularly is like always really difficult to manage. So it was kind of a little bit of um, chaos. After that class, I went to a second grade class where I was in charge of like preparing an activity. And so I prepared a sentence building activity and made it like a race, not a race, but a game as like how they worked in groups and whichever group came up with the most sentences wins the game. So they actually did really well. We were practicing has got and have got because they get really confused as to when to use has and when to use have. And so that got them practicing. Can you guys hear the birds right now? Also, it's so sunny. I also just discovered this kombucha that is so yummy. I tried this flavor, it's ginger and lemon, um, and it's really good. So now I'm just gonna relax a little bit. Now, a new teacher came to our school and is doing the like infantil classes with me, which is like preschool basically, but it includes kindergarten. So I'm gonna meet up with her in like 45 minutes just to kind of go over what we wanna do for this last month that I'm here. Very sad. I'm just kind of gonna try to get tan here for a little bit because the sun has not been out very much in Spain and so I am like the most white I've ever been and you know it's time to get like bronzed and tanned so I'm gonna try to do that just relax a little bit and then head back into the school to meet up with this teacher to kind of help her and show her what we usually do in our classes um but yeah I'll check in with you guys later
Hello guys, so I just got home from work right now. I actually am going to meet one of my friends who speaks Spanish. My Spanish friend, love her. Going to meet her, she's probably watching this. <laughs> going to meet her to go to Retiro Park and we're gonna have a very chill afternoon. I'm gonna bring my book. I'm currently reading this book in Spanish. Um, it's actually by an English author, but it's translated in Spanish. It's by Taylor Jenkins Reid. It's called Dos Amores de Mi Vida, Two Loves of My Life. But I just have been trying to like read more in Spanish because it helps just expose me more to the language and just helps me improve it honestly overall. But yeah, so I'm gonna get my stuff together and I'm gonna get going. Hello guys, so I just got back from the park. It's like 8 p.m. right now. It's 9 p.m. Oh my gosh, this daylight savings is really messing with me because it's like fully light outside. Wait, I'm gonna show you guys. So yeah, like I feel like so awake right now and it's 9 p.m. I need to be like getting ready to sleep. Um, but basically, I forgot that I wanted to do a couple of updates in this video, so I'll just leave it to this kind of ending wrapping up part of the video. The updates that I have are that our school last week, I was like so excited because they finally in Madrid in Spain, they've gotten rid of the mask mandate indoors. And so like right now, if you go around the city, like you can enter stores without a mask, but public transportation, you still need to, to wear a mask. Basically, yeah, so I was so excited because it's really, really difficult to like teach students another language when they can't see your mouth moving and so last week the three days that we had with no masks like i could even see that my students understood me more because they could see my like more facial expressions like how my mouth forms like different words and everything but then today i was like walking around and i like noticed more people were wearing masks again and then i like asked someone i was like are we supposed to wear our masks again and she was like oh yeah like we've had a couple of covid cases so now they've told us like that it's highly recommended to wear your mask again and so now we're back to wearing masks um but anyway so that's that update second update is that i am currently applying for teaching jobs in florida and so what i've done so far is that like last weekend they finally had all of the positions posted for basically all of the schools and the different grade levels that they need teachers for and so I completed my online application and submitted that. I had to wait for a couple of recommendations because instead of being a recommendation letter which I already had prepared it was like you have to send them a link and they have to fill out like a survey type of thing and so I just finished that right now. I'm just waiting to hear back from schools basically and then we'll see where it goes from there. Today was a good day. I've been feeling like really weird about life recently and about how like I'm going back to the US and back to the States and everything, but that will be a topic for a whole nother video when that eventually does happen. But if you're curious to know, I have like six more weeks left here. Starting tomorrow, it will be six weeks left in Spain, and it's kind of freaking me out, but also I'm excited to have my own classroom and everything. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I'm like, I need to wrap this up. Um, thank you so much for watching this video, and if you were new to watching me, I will be continuing to kind of document my journey here, leaving, going back to the US, and getting my own classroom, hopefully, fingers crossed. And starting that whole different journey there and so if you do like what you've seen I have other videos of days in the life week in the life I can actually I'll link right here another week in the life that you guys can watch um, but yeah thank you so much for watching and like I said if you did enjoy this please make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more and yeah I will see you guys in my next video Bye.